his efforts to move his country forward and provide a better life for its people. And his efforts uh, throughout the world, which stretch back uh, over 30 or 40 years. For all of this, uh, Your Majesty, we take the greatest pride in welcoming you here. You do us honor. And I can assure you that there is no guest that we will receive in this country that will give uh, a greater sense of livelier pride and satisfaction to the American people than your presence here today. Your Majesty, you're most welcome. First of all, you have um, an amazing brain drain from Ethiopia. You've got uh, some of the brightest and best people from the country who have come to the United States, to Britain, and to European countries. Uh, you have second generations now of Ethiopians in these countries who are very well educated. They uh, are very intelligent. In fact, at Oklahoma State University, there's a saying, don't take classes with Ethiopians because they ruin the curve. And he had such a fire about it. You know, I said, there's got to be a, a lot more to this. He asked me, just kind of offhand, would you be interested in going to Ethiopia? And I went, oh, I'm so excited. I'm dancing around the kitchen, and finally I stopped. And I said, what? Where is Ethiopia? I don't even know where it is. City. Uh, this is where it all started for Adam Maya, and the program was started back in uh, Truman's administration in 1951. On June 16, in Addis Ababa, a representative of the United States government and the Ethiopian government signed an agreement uh, pursuing uh, uh, promising to cooperate with each other in the interchange of technical knowledge and skills and related activities designed to contribute to the balanced and integrated development of economic resources and productive capacities of Ethiopia. Truman liked it so much that he put in his inaugural address, he had four points. The fourth point was point four.